Let's see if you know enough math to solve this problem without using a calculator. Okay, so we have a triangle. Matter of fact, we have a right triangle. And the only side that we know is this side right here. And that length is 3. But we do have this information. And the actual question is the following. So we're trying to determine what is this side right here, BC. So we're being told that if the sine of angle B, so this is angle B right here. So if the sine of angle B is equal to 3 fourths, what is this distance BC? So in geometry, BC written like this is talking about this distance right here. All right, so once again, no calculators. But uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem without using a calculator. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, we have a right triangle. The only side that we know is this side, that is 3. And we know that if the sine of this angle right here, angle B, is 3 fourths, what is this distance BC? Okay, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is BC is equal to the square root of 7. Now, if you got this right, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. U2 Math, man, I don't even, uh, don't even know where to start. Well, what we're talking about here is basic geometry and trigonometry. So let's see how this uh, problem is solved now. Okay, so the problem, again, is we're looking for uh, BC. That's what this means, uh, this notation. What is the length of B to C? And the only information that we have is that from A to C, well, that's 3, and we're being told, once again, that the sine of this angle, angle B, is equal to 3 over 4, 3 fourths. All right, so what is the sine? What does this mean? Well, we're going to have to figure this out in order to solve this problem. Now, some of you might be saying, well, I know if I take the sine of an angle like 70 degrees, I can plug that into my calculator and get a decimal or get some sort of value for it, and you would be totally correct. But again, we're not going to use our calculator. Uh, so we're just going to have to uh, have a pretty good understanding of what the sine uh, means. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so the sine, uh, sine, let me write this again, sine, and these are buttons on our calculators, our scientific calculators, sine, cosine, and tangent. These things right here are referred to as trigonometric ratios, okay, trigonometric ratios. So a ratio is effectively a fraction, right? So we're talking about fractions here, all right, sine, cosine, and tangent. And now the best part of this video is I get to say this funny little phrase right here. And let me go ahead and tell you the phrase, and then we'll talk about what it means. So it is so ka toa, so ka toa. Now, at this point, some of you might be saying, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you definitely lost your mind. Now you're talking another language to me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, stick with me for a second. This is just a cool little memory phrase so you can learn these trigonometric functions, all right, these trigonometric uh, ratios. All right, so katoa. Now we're going to spell that S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. -A. Now this is going to be the key for us to understand some uh, basic right angle trigonometry. But let's go ahead and understand uh, these little uh, letters here, what they mean. So S is going to uh, stand for the sine. C is going to uh, represent the cosine. And T is going to be the tangent. Well, you can see here we have O, H, and A, right? These other letters. What does these mean? Well, let me go ahead and tell you uh, what those mean uh, right now. And then we'll put this all together. All right, so when we have a right triangle, okay, or any triangle at that, when we're looking at a particular angle, so in this case, we're looking at angle B, okay? So from the reference point of angle B, we have three sides to a right triangle, okay? And we're going to stick with a right triangle here. Now, this means that this angle is 90 degrees. Now, the longest side of any right triangle, okay, is called the hypotenuse. That's H. So if you were guessing, oh, maybe that's what the H stands for, well, you would be perfectly right. 
So the longest side of any right triangle is H. So we're going to label it H, and it's always opposite uh, the 90 degree uh, angle. Okay, the right angle is always opposite, but it's pretty easy to tell because it's the longest leg. All right, now we have these other legs of the triangle, O and A. So O stands for opposite and A stands for adjacent. So from the reference of uh, the reference point of angle B, what is the opposite side? Okay, well, we have to look opposite away from angle B. So this side right here is the opposite side. Okay, now A is adjacent, and that word adjacent means next to. So this side right here of the triangle is the adjacent side to angle B, okay? All right, so uh, let me go ahead and clear this away again so you can kind of think about this. All right, so now it's really important that you understand that these um, uh, opposite and adjacent can change because let's suppose we're talking about angle A. So angle A, what is the opposite side for angle A? Well, it would be down here, okay? The adjacent side would be right here. Okay, so the adjacent is always next to the angle. So for, again, for angle B right here, this is the adjacent, which means next to, and then this is the opposite side. Again, H is always the hypotenuse or longest side of a right triangle. Okay, so if you understand all this, then we could put this together and figure out these trigonometric functions. Okay, so back to our cool little phrase, so katoa. So this is a mnemonic, a little memory aid, that will um, allow you to remember the correct ratio for the sine, cosine, and tangent when we have a right triangle problem. Okay, so the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So, so S-O-H, so the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's where the so comes in, O-H. And the cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. All right, so here is our trigonometric ratios. Again, ratios indicate a fraction, and we are talking about the angle. So we're talking about the sine of some angle is equal, uh, in a uh, right triangle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse of that right triangle, and uh, we have the cosine and tangent with their respective uh, formulas. Okay, so let's put this together now in our problem, and it's going to become apparent that, wow, we can actually figure this thing out. Okay, so remember, we're being told that if the sine of angle B is equal to 3 over 4, okay, so here is angle B, and we have of angle B is equal to 3 over 4. So what is the sine of angle B? Well, what is the sine in general? Well, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? So that is what the sine is equal to, and we know that the sine of angle B here is equal to three over four, right? So that was kind of given information. So the sine of angle B is equal to three over four, and the sine is the same thing as the opposite over the hypotenuse. Well, what is the opposite? Well, the opposite is three, and that makes sense because that is this leg of the triangle, but what is the denominator down here for? Well, that represents the hypotenuse. So this leg right here of the triangle is Four. Okay, so now we have two out of the three lengths in a right triangle. And if you know the Pythagorean theorem, uh, you can easily figure out what this side is equal to. And uh, this is really the key to figuring out uh, the solution to this problem is to understand this uh, basic right angle trigonometry. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so we have uh, the information. We know what the sine of angle B is equal to. That was equal to 3 over 4. And because we understand sine as a trigonometric ratio, we have this leg and this length of a uh, this, this side and this side of a right triangle. And uh, so anytime you have a right triangle, you should always be thinking the Pythagorean theorem. Like, yeah, oh, you know, I'm probably going to end up using this thing. And uh, by the way, if you need help with basic right angle trigonometry or the Pythagorean theorem, triangles. I teach this in two of my courses, all right? Actually three. 
So the first is my geometry course. You will get some basic trigonometry in there. Uh, of course, in my pre-calculus course, I teach advanced trigonometry and other advanced uh, topics. And for those of you that might just want to kind of rebuild your math skills, well, check out my math skills rebuild, of course. I cover this stuff as well. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what BC is. And BC is this side of the right triangle, but we'll call it uh, X for just the purposes of figuring out uh, this uh, length uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. So we have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Again, the Pythagorean theorem, C is always the hypotenuse. It's always the longest side of a right triangle. So that is four. Okay, so this is what C is equal to. And then A or B can be equal to uh, uh, three. So we'll just let A equal to three. It doesn't make a difference. So we have uh, three squared or A squared which is three squared plus X squared, this side right here is equal to four squared, which is our C squared. So this is gonna be three squared, which is nine plus X squared is equal to 16. Now we can simply subtract nine from both sides of the equation and you get X squared is equal to seven. And we have this lovely quadratic equation, which we can solve by taking the square root of both sides. So X is equal to positive or negative square root of seven. All right, so again, we're not using a calculator here and we're gonna disregard the negative um, value on this solution because we are talking about positive distances. So BC would be equal to the positive square root of seven. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, check out these courses right here. So in my pre-algebra course, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry. But uh, if you have to understand all things geometry to include uh, proofs, then you got to check out my full geometry course. Now, if you want a good math review of basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.